Welcome to the master class. I have my coffee here, I have my notebook, and I'm ready to teach you some really powerful stuff. So in this session, what I'm gonna talk about is how do you start dating the women you're truly attracted to? So one problem that a lot of men are telling me and repeating over and over is, Jad, I can get some women, but I can't get the women that I'm truly attracted to. I'm at the point in my life where I don't want to just casually date around or settle for, you know, women that I'm not that into. I'm at the point where, number one, I want to only be with women that I'm truly attracted to. And number two, I'm at the point where I want to get this part of my life handled once and for all so that I can eventually find an attractive girlfriend. Okay, so you're wanting to have a long term relationship with a woman that you're truly attracted to. Furthermore, what you're wanting is the life skill of being able to replicate this success, meaning you want to have the skill of even if you get a beautiful woman in your life, you want to know that if that relationship ends, then you have the ability to replace her, to replicate it, re your results and get an equally attractive woman if you lose the attractive woman that you got, right? So I'm going to give you a three-step strategy that has been proven over the past 13 years with myself as well as my hundreds of students and clients over the past 13 years of my coaching. I'm going to distill it down to the three success principles that all these guys had in common that allowed them to go from stuck to now being in relationships with women that they're truly attracted to or to being able to predictably and consistently attract the women that they truly want. So let's look at our faithful notebook here. And okay, so I know you want to get a beautiful woman, but what's holding you back is number one, in this day and age, things are moving more remote. People are working, more and more people are working from home, from behind a computer screen. Maybe you, you're one of those people. And so it's getting harder and harder to meet beautiful women in person. Now you've probably tried online dating, but it probably hasn't worked or it's only worked with women that you're not attracted to. But the hot women on these online dating sites, it's just like almost impossible to get dates with them because all of the guys want them, right? So it's really frustrating. Where do you go to meet women? You see all these beautiful women around you on the street and, you know, in the daytime as you go through your life and you're thinking to yourself, uh, should I walk up to her? Should I approach her? Is it appropriate? Is it not appropriate? What should I do? Furthermore, internally, you're, you're, you're dealing with that struggle of, you know, that fear of rejection, that fear of like, oh, well, I'm too afraid to go approach a woman uh, on the street or in a mall or at the coffee shop or, or wherever you are. Um, you know, what if she rejects me? What if other people see? Um, you know, what if I come across as creepy or weird her out or something? And so um, part of the problem, too, is uh, you're lacking a bit of confidence to go after the women you want. Right. And listen, man, I know that you're an honest stand up guy. I know that you're working hard to be a successful man. I know that you're probably pretty decent looking. So you deserve a beautiful woman in your life. It's not right that a guy like you, a guy that she would be lucky to have in her life. It's not it's not fair like that a guy like you uh, is single. So we're going to change that. OK, we're really going to change that. And I know how you feel because I used to be this random guy in a big city where I would go and walk down the streets of Vancouver and I would just see dozens and dozens of beautiful girls everywhere. And I'm like, oh my God, right? Uh, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, I don't know. Should I approach them? Is it appropriate to approach them? And also I have uh, approach anxiety. So I feel, I know what you're going through because I went through it too. 
fast forward, I am now, I have been in a relationship with my dream girl for over seven years now. Okay. And other than uh, being with her, uh, I, when I, when I finally figured this out, I was fortunate enough to date many beautiful women, women that I was truly attracted to. So if I could do it, if hundreds of my students could do it, you can do it too. All right. All you need is the right strategy. So with that, let's get into the strategy that's going to get you dating the women you truly want. Where shall we start? Okay, so in the end of this, I'm going to summarize what the three part strategy is. But this three part strategy is made up of around, uh, let's say, six or seven elements. So we got to build the, the elements first. And then in the end, we'll put it all together and summarize it into only three strategies. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to remember the time where you saw a bug flying up against the window trying to get out, even though the window right next to it was wide open. The fly kept trying to fly through the glass, kept tr trying to fly through the glass uh, instead of just like trying a different approach, trying a different uh, route, right? So one thing I see with men who struggle in this game for years is they're kind of like the fly. They keep trying the same strategy over and over again, expecting a different result. If you've been stuck for one year or more not succeeding in this game, it is because you have been using, you've been trying the same strategy over and over. Trying harder isn't the answer. You need to try something different. Trying harder isn't going to allow the fly to fly through that glass. It has to try a different strategy. So the first clue of why you're stuck is because you keep doing things the same way. You have to start thinking in a more sophisticated way and understand that trying harder isn't the answer. So what do men who succeed at this game do differently than the men who try hard but fail. You see, the guys that fail at this game, it's not that they're lazy and it's not that they didn't try their best, okay? It's that they didn't use the right strategy. The difference between people who succeed in life and the people who fail isn't hard work. The people who succeed do things in a specific way, okay? So we want to highlight these words. In order for you to succeed with women in seduction, you have to do things in a specific way, okay? So let me give you an analogy. Right now, there are over 7 billion humans on the planet and around 90 to 95% of people are not rich, okay, are not rich, and only about 5% are rich. The majority of the population of the world wake up every day and work hard. So if the majority of the 7 billion people are working hard, why aren't they rich? It is because riches do not come to the man who works harder. Riches come to the man who works in a certain way. It's the exact same thing with seduction. You know how you see those guys and you're like, oh man, that guy doesn't even look like he's trying. Women just come to him so easily. It's not fair. Why is he getting all the women? See, he may not be working as hard as you, but he's doing things, specific things in a specific way. And that specific way, listen to the words, the word way is very important. Because he does things in a specific way, he gets women. So what this video about is about today is giving you the three specific ways 
You got to go about this game in order to win this game. These are the common denominators, the common qualities of every guy, including myself, who has succeeded in this game is because we did things in a certain way. So the first way we're going to discuss is the way of the mastermind. The mastermind principle is a principle that was, um, I mean, the name was invented by the author of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. If you're not familiar with the book Think and Grow Rich, it is a book about how to accumulate, how to get what you want in life. Now, the title implies that it's about money, but really the book of Think and Grow Rich is about how to get whatever you want in life. So we can take the principles from that book and apply it to seduction. It's the same thing. The principles to acquire wealth and abundance in one area of your life um, are the same fundamental principles for other areas of your life. So Napoleon Hill, before writing that book, spent 25 years of his life studying Thousands of people, including 500 of the world's richest men in the world at that time, to discover what are the common denominators of success. And after 25 years of studying 500 of the richest men, he came to this conclusion. He said, in my study of 25 years, I have not found one man who succeeded alone. Okay? I have not found one man who has succeeded without the ma- without using the mastermind principle. So what is the mastermind principle? The mastermind principle means two or in order for you to succeed in something, two or more people have to come together and work in complete harmony towards a specific goal. Okay? So the mastermind principle is when two or more people work in complete harmony towards a specific goal. The reason why you have failed to master this area of seduction up until now is because you have been going at it alone. What did Napoleon Hill say? He said, no man in my 25 years of researching success, I couldn't find one man who succeeded alone. So I'm going to come back to, to seduction myself as a dating coach. Coach researching this topic for over 20 years, seeing thousands of guys pass through. I have not seen one guy master this game alone. The different way that separates the guys who get women from the guys who don't is the guys who get women use the principle of the mastermind. So, Here's where you want to stop and take note and ask yourself, okay, have I been approaching the game in this way? Or have I been kind of like the fly, just trying harder alone, trying harder alone, trying harder alone? So so what I want you to understand about the mastermind principle is that it is a principle. A principle means a law, okay? Gravity is a principle. Gravity is a law. When I drop this pen, It falls down. It gets pulled down by gravity. That is a law. It's every time. There isn't one time that I'm going to drop this pen that this pen is not going to fall down, right? Not even one time. Similarly, there is not going to be one time where if you go at it alone, you're not going to fail. You're going to fail, okay? It is a law of success that men who succeed in any area must use the principle, the law of the mastermind, okay? Which means starting today onwards, if you want to master this game, you got to put it in your head that I'm going to have to find somebody, at least one person to mastermind with in order to win this game. I need to start doing things the right way, which is only through masterminding and stop doing things the wrong way which is going at it alone, okay? So to summarize, the guy who goes at this game alone 
a computer just screensavered. Let's see this. Technology. Okay. So, summary. The guy who goes at it alone will always fail. You're not going to be the exception. Just like a guy who walks off the cliff isn't going to be the exception and keep floating there. No. Gravity is impartial. It doesn't care who you are. If you're a good person, it's pulling you down if you walk off the cliff. Similarly, success, the laws of success don't care if you're a good person. If you're going at this game alone, you're going to fail. Okay. It's indifferent. Okay. So you need to start using the mastermind principle. That is one of the certain ways that causes the men who succeed in this game, including myself, to succeed. All right. And my journey, quick story, whenever I was stuck, I would hire coaches. Okay. I would pay them thousands of dollars. I would uh, travel to different countries to go meet them in person. I did whatever I needed to do. I found local guys to mastermind with. I was masterminding left, right, up and down. When Jad has a problem, Jad masterminds. Okay. That's why Jad didn't stay stuck. You understand? So everything I'm telling you, by the way, in this video, I did myself. If you don't know my story, I was a student just like you. I used to be on the other side of the screen watching dating coaches talk and then hiring them and trying to get this thing handled. I accidentally became the ultimate coach that I was searching for because what I found is that although there were some good coaches, none of them gave the complete everything that I needed, right? So I accidentally became everything I needed and then I became the coach, okay? So, bro, I'm telling you, I tried going at it alone, it doesn't work, but every time I mastermind, masterminded, it worked. So, next I'm gonna tell you a term that I invented which takes your understanding of the mastermind even deeper. So, the deeper level <clears throat> of understanding the mastermind is called the mastermind up. Mastermind up. So it turns out we have something called mirror receptors in our brains. Mirror receptors are kind of like tiny photocopying copying machines. Excuse me. It turns out that we are the average of the five people we hang out with. We're the average confidence. We're the average income. We're the average fitness level, we're the average success with women, we copy those around us. So we cannot help but copy those around us. So studies show that we will be the average of the five people we hang out the most with. Why? It's because we have mirror receptors in our brain and we cannot help but model and imitate those around us. So coming back to mastermind, the mistake uh, people make when masterminding is they mastermind down or parallel. Okay. Which means the fastest way for you to get where you want is to mastermind up. Okay. Why? Because of your mirror receptors. So let's say you masterminded with me. I've already got this game figured out. I already have my dream girl. I've had her for seven years. I've been in a lot of other relationships with a lot of other uh, gorgeous girls. So when you hang out with me, what happens is your mirror receptors start mirroring me and then you're pulled up. This is kind of like the shortcut, the fast track. When you, when you mastermind with someone who's already has what you want, then your mirror receptors, you know, give you that accelerated elevation and you get to that level a lot faster. Well, what happens in the inverse? A lot of guys, what they do is they mastermind down. Okay, they're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna mastermind with this guy Billy down the street because he also wants to get this handled, and he's always he's also been struggling for a while. So uh, me and him decided to mastermind. Watch out, buddy, that may be a bad idea. If you're masterminding with Billy, you're gonna pick up some of his, you know, bad stuff because he's he's behind you, he's below you in skill, and you know maybe his life is gonna improve because he's around you, but your your game is not going to improve so much because you're basically hanging out with a guy who's who's you know his his skills less than you so when you mastermind you always want to mastermind up don't mastermind down okay that's very important so 
let's talk about the next. Let me just adjust something here. Okay. So let's talk about the next piece. The next pattern I that um, is important that I see is what do you value? So growing up, I always valued my time and my youth more than anything else. Okay. Way more than anything else, way more than money, way more than, okay. Ever since I was like 14 years old, I was like highly consciously aware of like, wow, I'm young. This isn't going to last forever. I'm going to squeeze the most out of this. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm young. All these hot girls are around me. I'm going to try to, you know, enjoy as many and as much as I can while I still can. Okay. So what I'm seeing in guys who have been stuck, not really getting this game handled for a few years is they have their values kind of mixed up. Okay. I'm going to take these off. These are bothering me. Ah. <sighs> So they, they have their values mixed up, meaning the pattern I see with guys who succeed is they value their time and their youth and they have this urgency like, oh yeah, I'm young now. I'm still at a good age now. I can still get hot women. I'm still, you know, like, and they have this urgency. The guys who I see stuck following me for years, they don't have that urgency and they don't have that same value system. When I talk to them, they seem to value money over time and youth, okay? Like I'll talk to a guy and I'll be like, so uh, have you been, you, you've been struggling this for a few years. Yeah, man, I've been struggling. So you want to get this handled? Ah, you know what, man? I'm just going to focus on my career for the next two, three years and, you know, save up some money and then maybe, you know. And it's like, dude, you already wasted three years. You're planning to waste another three years. That's six years. Six years of basically sexlessness or sex with women that you're not even attracted to. And then after the six years are over and you want to actually finally handle this, now it's going to take you another few years just to figure this out. So now you're at 10 years of wasted youth. And then who knows if you're even going to stay alive or what's going to happen to you in those 10 years. And, and, and it's, it's like, and then it's like, oh yeah, well, oh, right. And then they don't invest in themselves. And they're like, oh, oh well, I'm still stuck. And oh yeah, and money this and money that. So if you're more concerned about saving money than you are about saving your time, your youth, your opportunity, you're going to stay stuck and you're never going to have that urgency. Okay. Example, like, uh, you know, the guys who hire me for coaching understand they have to invest in themselves. So they make an investment, hire me as their coach, and they get this thing handled within three to six months. Okay. The guys who value money over time, don't invest in themselves, don't hire me as a coach or hire some other guy as a coach. And then you talk to them two years later, they're still stuck. And in their minds, they're saving. They made the smart decision. How can missing two years of amazing sex with drop dead gorgeous angels, forming lifelong memories and, you know, growing up and growing old without regret, how can that how can you put a price on that? Okay. How can that be less important than whatever amount of money you saved for the past two years or whatever? Okay. So guys, including myself who get this handled, invest in themselves. They have urgency and they value um, time and youth over money. So everything in life has a price. If you've been stuck, you probably need some coaching. You probably need to mastermind. You got to get humble and say, okay, I got to make an investment here of money, time, and energy uh, because this thing's not going to fall in my lap. It ain't going to fall in your lap, okay? Sex and relationships fall in women's lap, not in men's laps, okay? And if women do fall in your lap, it's usually not the women you want, all right? So the common trait of guys who get this handled is they value their time, their life, making memories, their youth over money. 
my philosophy perfect uh, personally was I'm going to get this woman thing handled first, this confidence thing handled first. I'm going to build amazing memories first so that when I'm old, I have no regrets. And then later when I'm older, then I'll start working on the money thing. Okay. That's what I did. So I had so much amazing, wonderful, priceless experiences until, I mean, I'm still having good experiences, but you know, I just experimented and everything until my late thirties. And after that, I put my head down and say, okay, now let's figure out this money thing. Okay. So you don't have to go as extreme as, as that, but man, if you value your money over time, uh, you're not going to make it. I've seen it too many times. So the next quality is probably the biggest cause of your failure which is the lack of decisiveness. If there's one thing that keeps guys stuck, it is lack of decision. Okay. Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm going to try it now. Oh, and then, oh yeah, well maybe in three months, uh, right. The guys who get this thing handled say, I've made a definite decision to master this area of my life now. I'm willing to pay whatever price life asks of me now. And I'm not going to allow anything to get in the way of it. Okay. So back to Napoleon Hill's book. In his book, Think and Grow Rich, he says, perhaps the biggest cause of failure of men is the lack of decisiveness. The majority of men are slow to make decisions and quick to change them. Listen to yourself, examine yourself. Are you that person? The majority of men who are failures, okay, everyone who's a failure is slow to make a decision and then quick to change it. Meaning, okay, yeah, I'm going to get this woman thing handled. And then the next day you wake up, ah, I'm, not, I'm not sure actually. Yeah, no, I'm, oh, let me, let me work on this crypto and this EFTs and like all these other stuff. And then maybe I'll, maybe I'll get this woman thing next year. And then the next day, oh yeah, I'm going to get this uh, handled. And then, you know, going back and forth. Remember, he spent 25 years studying the pattern. So check yourself. Do you have that pattern of indecisiveness and procrastination? And then he said the pattern of successful men, they make decisions quickly and then they don't change their minds. Okay. Successful men make a decision. Okay. I'm going to get this handled. I'm going to tackle this project. Boom. That's it. It's decided. It's done. And then he just goes to work. Okay. Okay. Um, a lot of you th are thinking backwards. You're thinking, oh, well, I don't know. I'm not sure. How am I going to do it? Blah, blah, blah. Do I have the time? Do I have the money? That's not how successful people think. A successful man makes a commitment first and then figures things out second. Okay. Let me give you an example for coaching. The most common excuse is like, oh, Jad, I don't have the money right now. You're never going to have the money until you first make the, the decision that you want mentorship. Once you make the decision, hey, I want Jad to mentorship, you will find a way to get the money. But if you ain't making the decision, you're not going to find the money. All right. So decision comes before the how. Decision comes before the how. Decision comes before the how. All you got to concern yourself is what do I want? Okay, I want women in my life. I want these gorgeous women in my life. Okay, fine. That's decided. That's not going to change. I'm not going to allow anything to change that. I am now committed to getting this handled. So help me God if it kills me. That's a decision I made. I said, I'm willing to do whatever it takes and pay whatever price in order to get this woman thing handled. Okay. If it kills me, I would, I was going to die. I would die before I gave up. That's the kind of decision you need to make. After you make that decision, then step by step, you figure out how to proceed and how to go further step by step by step. So the way, remember, we're talking about the way. The way to get to master this game is number one, don't be like the fly trying harder, trying the same strategy, but doing it harder. The way is to mastermind. The way is to be decisive and make a decision and commit, even though you don't know how it's going to come about, that's irrelevant. Okay. That's the way. So that's, that's the next point, right? Now I want to caution you of something. 
Okay. There is a feeling called almost there. Okay. You may be at the point right now where you're feeling like, you know what, Jad? I feel like I'm almost there. I'm almost got this figured out. That is a very dangerous feeling. Okay. Most guys who have been stuck for years, they're stuck because they're convinced that they're almost there. But didn't you feel like you were almost there two years ago? Didn't you feel like you were almost there one year ago? And then aren't you right now like almost there? Do you see the deception? That's a big reason why a lot of guys don't hire a mentor. Because they think, oh, do I really need a mentor? I'm almost there. Motherfucker, you've been almost there for three years. Don't you understand that it's, 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 your mind is deceiving you? If you were almost there, you would have gotten there a month later, three months later. If you've had this feeling of, I'm almost there, almost got this figured out for more than a year, you're not almost there. You need a mentor. You need help. Okay? Watch out for that. So another thing that's common amongst guys who succeed is they're, they're, they're not in denial. They're humble enough to ask for help. Okay. They hire mentors. They get guidance if they can't figure something out themselves. The guys who fail go at it, go at it alone. They have the attitude of, oh, I'm going to figure it out by myself. I'm almost there, blah, blah. And then you talk to them a few years later, they're still stuck. So. This brings us to, you got to start telling the truth. You got to start facing the truth. What's going on in your life right now? How long have you been stuck? And what does it really cost you? What has it been costing you to stay stuck? Are you watching porn? Are you depressed? Are you insecure? Are you overflowing with shame? Are you starting to get hopeless? Is this having not having this figured out? Is this now seeping into the other areas of your life? And you're at the point where you're not even able to enjoy yourself doing anything else because this is always on your mind. That's what happened with me, man. Excuse me. When I, when I was at the point where this wasn't working for me, I literally couldn't feel happy. I'd be hanging out with my friends, but I wasn't present there. I was like, motherfucker, I need girls. I need pussy. I need, I would, you know, whatever I was doing, I was going snowboarding, going, doing this, doing that, riding motorcycles, doing everything. But all the time I'm like, oh, fuck, I got to get this woman thing handled. Fuck, I got to get this one. Right. So it's like eating you alive. So you may be drowning it out with porn, Netflix, webcam girls, prostitutes, strip clubs, junk food, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But even that, look what you're doing. Look how you're living. Are you proud of yourself as a man living with such bad habits? And if we dropped a camera into your life, would you be proud of what we see or would you be ashamed? Can you even walk up to a woman that you like? And if not, look at all the shame that that fills you with. So I think guys, guys who are stuck, they don't admit, they don't, they don't understand the price. You're paying a price for not facing this, man. And the price is high. And the ultimate price is when you grow old with regret. But now on the other side, I want you to paint a picture of how your life could be if you got this handled, okay? You can have a drop-dead gorgeous girlfriend. You could be having amazing, mind-blowing sex every single day. You can be cuddling with her and watching Netflix. You could be going on trips with her, going on picnics, walking in the park. You can show up to parties with her around your arm and be proud, okay? And then you're going to grow old with these beautiful memories of all these beautiful angels 
that you got to spend your time with. And so you can die in peace as a man. Okay, you're only young once, bro. You're only young once. And like I said, like I've been in your shoes, so you can get to that other side. So this brings us to the next quality of successful men, which is they have a vision. And they don't let anything take them away from that vision. I had a vision of being amazing with women, being with the most beautiful girls, and just, you know, I had that vision. And no matter what happened in my life, I never let anything rob me of that dream. And I kept going and kept persisting and kept paying in time, in money, in effort, and I made life give it to me. Okay? So the common denominator of all successful men is they have that vision. And then th they hold on to that vision and do everything they can to make it a reality. So you can make your vision a reality. You have to first see it inside your head and then it will appear out in the real world. Now, let's talk about what successful men do. If you've heard of, you know, Grant Cardone talks about money, success, all that stuff. Um, you know, people ask him, young guys ask him, they're like, Hey, Grant, um, you know, what should I invest in? What's like a smart investment? And he says something like, if you have under $60,000, then the only investment you should be making is in yourself. Okay, don't throw it in real estate. Don't throw it in a house. Take it, hire mentors, invest in your personal development, invest in yourself. Why? Okay, all personal development gurus said the same thing. Jim Rohn said the same thing. The smartest investment you can make is investing in yourself. That is the investment that's going to pay you back 100 fold, 1000 fold. You understand? So coming back to my story, when I was younger and I told you, hey, I wasn't prioritizing money. I was prior to prioritizing getting this woman thing handled. So I was investing in myself. I was investing in my own personal development, which then allowed me to get women and then the experiences that I've had with women are priceless. Take a gun to my head, pull the trigger. You can't, like, the ROI that I have received from the investment I made in money, time, and effort is like, I can't even put a number on it. The return on investment is priceless to be able to experience these beautiful angels, the passionate sex, the intimacy, the sharing of moments. You understand? And then the man I became, I became confident. I have this peace in my heart that I have what it takes as a man. And then I even turned it into a business. Okay. So you need to understand if you're a young guy, you got to invest in yourself. That's the smartest investment. And that's where you're going to get the most return on investment. So the pattern of guys who succeed in this game is they understand that the smartest investment you can make is the investment in yourself that is the investment that pays you back a hundredfold plus okay and then the guys who stay stuck they don't invest in themselves and they get free this and free that and 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 free that and then they're like why am i stuck poor me fuck you shut up you're not following the laws of success you don't deserve to win i'm going at it alone and i'm still stuck fuck you it's your fault. Mastermind, motherfucker. Oh, I don't know. Fuck you. Have you been being decisive? No, you're being an asshole to yourself. So there's a certain way. Okay. The way is through masterminding. The way is through being decisive. The way is through investing in yourself. The way is hiring mentors when you're stuck. Okay. These are all the ways. It's not mysterious. It's not a mystery. There are certain things you need to do in order to get what you want in your life. And this brings me to my final point before we summarize all of this into three, a three part strategy, which is that every guy who's conquered this game has practiced courage and was a risk taker. Okay. So now I know this sounds obvious, but hear me out. It, to be a seducer is to be a risk taker. In order to get a woman, you have to risk losing a woman. When I say you need to be a risk taker, 
it's not only like, okay, I got to risk walking across the room and talking to that woman. It's also, oh, I got to risk in hiring this mentor. Oh, I got to risk in committing to this program. Oh, I got to risk in uh, investing my time uh, and effort into this area. The men who succeed in this world take calculated risks. The guys who want to play it safe with women, with investments, with everything, they stay stuck. Okay, I'm a risk taker. I've always been a risk taker and it's always paid off a hundredfold. Okay, if you don't know, I've jumped out of a plane over 200 times. I've done base jumping, which means you jump off of cliffs, bridges, buildings, those kinds of things. And that's one of the most dangerous sports on the wor- in the world. I've done that. Uh, I've raced motorcycles. I've approached, you know, tons of women. I've invested big amounts of money in myself. I take risks and that's why my life keeps moving forward. And that's why I have fulfillment in my heart because I don't let, I I don't let life intimidate me and I'm willing to put something on the line because I understand I need to give life something in exchange for what I want. Okay. So you got to be a risk taker, bro. So to summarize it, if you want to get beautiful women in your life, if you want to have this skill, if you want to be able to not only get a girlfriend, but if you lose her, be able to replace her and be confident in that. And if you want to get this game handled once and for all, here is the three part strategy. Number one, make a definite decision to get this handled. Okay. A definite decision means you decide right now, regardless of your circumstances, I'm going to get this handled no matter what it costs me and no matter how hard it is. And even if I don't know how I'm going to go about it, I'm going to make the decision first and figure out the how second. So all successful guys are decisive and make a definite decision. Number two, hire a mentor. Okay. You need to mastermind up. Stop. Stop going at this alone. For God's sake, stop going at it alone. It's not going to work. You're not going to walk off a cliff and gravity not going to pull you down. It's not going to work. You can't walk a cliff off a cliff and, and walk through thin air. Gravity is a law. You cannot go at this game alone and succeed. That is a law. Hire a mentor. Number three, be a risk taker. Take the necessary risks you need to take in terms of investing in yourself, making the moves you need to make in order to get what you want. The certain way, coming back, oh, that guy's getting all the women. Why is he getting all the women? He's a risk taker, okay? He's done things in his life to position himself in a place where women are attracted to him because he's a risk taker. So make a definite decision. Mastermind and hire a mentor and become a risk taker taker invest in yourself take that risk without risk you're not getting you're not getting this game handled okay get out of that get out of your comfort bubble okay comfort kills confidence comfort kills dreams got to get uncomfortable you got to take a risk so i believe in you i think you can get this conquer this game i think you can get unstuck you don't have to be the fly on that window you can think and be like, oh, this strategy isn't working, going at it alone, uh, not investing in myself, not hiring mentors, not, you know, all that stuff. Okay, let me try something different. And when you try something different, you're going to get that different result. And you're going to start attracting the women you want to attract. You're going to get over that fear. You're going to be able to walk up to that gorgeous girl, talk to her in a confident way, make her smile, make her laugh. You're going to flirt with her. She's going to like you back. You're going to get her on a date. You're going to do amazing on the date. You're going to kiss. You're going to make her your girlfriend. And you're just going to start living an amazing life. That is the life I want from you. You deserve that because I know you're an honest stand-up guy. And it's not right that you don't have that in your life. So stand up for yourself, okay, by doing things in the right way. Success doesn't come to he who works harder. Success comes to him who does things in the right way. I've outlined the right way that you need to go about this. Now it's in your court what you want to do about it. 
So in closing, I invite you to mastermind with me. You know what to do. Click that link and check out the amazing program I've put together for you. Once you take this program, I'm confident that you're going to become that guy that women notice in a room and you're that going to be that guy that dates attractive women. So click this link that's right here and let's get you on the program.